Macbeth starts out with three witches telling Macbeth, a guy who works for King Duncan, that he's gonna be king someday. And he just can't wait to be king! Then the witches hang with Macbeth and his best bud named Banquo. The witches are like, yo, Banquo, your kids are gonna be kings! And Macbeth is just like, what? And then he realizes, oh shit, I might not be king after all. Meanwhile, King Duncan decides that his son Malcolm is now the Prince of Cumberland, and he's just like, sweet, but Macbeth is like, great, I should have known those witches were just high. But in general, Macbeth is still kind of a cool guy. For now. He goes home to his wife, Lady Macbeth, and she's like, dude, get up off your lazy ass and do something about all this. It's being king, man. Think of all the free booze we could get. So Macbeth realizes that he's got to kill the king. But then he's like, I don't know, honey, this could get me into some serious sh**. But Lady Macbeth just goes, nah, you'll be chill. Then one night, Macbeth just kind of says, alright, whatever, any king who lets Jersey Shore reruns on cable can't be that good anyway, and goes and kills him. Then Macbeth goes to Lady Macbeth and goes, so wait, um, why couldn't you do this yourself again? And she says, because Duncan looked like my dad. And Macbeth is just, okay? So, naturally, it doesn't take long before everybody finds out what happens, they start freaking out, and they're like, the guardsman did it, the guardsman did it! But Macbeth straight up admits he killed the guards, and found Duncan's dead body first, but everyone's just like, nah, nothing suspicious about that at all, let's just make him king, because why not? So now Macbeth goes, yeah, let's celebrate cold-blooded murder! <laughs> So Macbeth and Lady Macbeth go and have a banquet for Banquo, since they're still best buds. For now, and at first, it looks cool. But then Duncan's two sons, Malcolm and Donaldbane, are blamed for the murder. Macbeth is like, Sh if I'm gonna be king, Banquo and his kid Fleance have to bite the dust. So Macbeth hires two murderers to make Banquo and Fleance kick the bucket. But despite this, Macbeth is still feeling guilty over killing Duncan. He's like, I don't know, honey, he did still owe me 20 bucks from that time I bought him those Nirvana CDs. But Lady Macbeth is like, <laughs> Then a third murderer gets involved. They go and kill Banquo like they planned, but Fleance gets away, and for the most part, he's pretty cool. Except, you know, dead dad and all. We gotta get up. We gotta go home. Meanwhile, at the banquet for Banquo, see, see what he did there? Banquo? Banquo? Tip of the hat to Shakespeare. One of the murderers tells Macbeth the murder went alright, except for Sim- I mean, Fleance escaping and all. But then suddenly, Banquo's ghost appears to Macbeth, and he's like, <laughs> But Lady Macbeth just tells him he's tripping on acid again. So he and Lady Macbeth leave the banquet, and everybody's just sitting there like, so, um, anybody catch the Yankees last night? A lord and a guy named Lennox, a Scottish badass, talk about Duncan and Banquo kicking the bucket, and they decide that Malcolm and Donald Bain couldn't have killed them. Then, the lord tells Lennox that Macduff is getting an army together to fight for Malcolm and get the Scottish throne back from Macbeth. Oh, and Malcolm has a best bud named Seward. Say hi. Feeling all tired and confused and sh**, Macbeth goes to the witches again, and by now, even they're like, what an asshole. They tell Macbeth three things. Beware of Macduff, nobody born naturally from a woman can kill him, and that Macbeth is going to be king of Scotland until the forest of Burnham comes to his castle. He finds out Macduff is going to fight him, and he's like, you motherfucker, I knew you were a Trump supporter. Meanwhile, Lady Macduff is all sad and sh** because she thinks Macduff died when he didn't. And then suddenly the murderers from earlier come in and kill her and her kid. Because Lord only knows, this story didn't have enough death in it already. Macduff finds out what happened, and he's like, well, fuck. And he wants revenge. Then, Lady Macbeth starts sleepwalking and talking in her sleep. And she finally reveals what she and Macbeth did to Duncan, Banquo, and Lady Macduff. She then kills herself off screen because she got fed up with being in a story with this much murder. And she went, oh, fuck a bunch of this. See y'all on Mayla's or Rob, assholes. Meanwhile, the armies of Skyland and England join forces to take Macbeth down, because apparently they've had enough of his crap by now. At his castle, Macbeth is just kinda chillin', and he says, Nah, the witches said I'm immune, Hakuna Matata. But then the armies start attacking the castle. Macbeth finds out that Lady Macbeth died and goes, Ugh, fine, I might as well do something. God. So he goes and kills the Seward's son, runs into Macduff, and they fight. <laughs> As they do that, Macduff is like, hey, my mom had a c-section when I was born, so I can technically kill you now. Macbeth is like, what? And then he gets killed by Macduff. Everybody's like, yay. And now Malcolm's king of Scotland like Duncan originally wanted. Everybody starts partying and jamming out, and now everything's cool. Except, you know, the million dead bodies they all had to clean up from all that crap. And it's free.